All right, let's do this. Hi everyone, my name is Brandon Chen. I'm an author for manga, novels, and comics. I'm also a manga director and editor at several publishers in the US, um, and I've written for even more. A lot of you guys might know me as inspired author on social media as a content creator. Call me what you want, but I'll go by Brandon for now. So writing has always been my passion, ever since I was a kid. I would come home from school every day, ever since I was in elementary school, all the way until I left for college. Um, and write. I actually used to make really, really bad manga when I was a kid um, in kindergarten. I used to go to the kids and sell um, them my really terrible manga for like 25 cents. I was a major fan of Shonen Jump at the time, still am, so I recreated kind of a childlike version of SJ for the kids in my elementary school. And I worked on developing those skills as an artist and a writer all the way going into high school. But eventually I realized that my interests with regards to manga were more towards the story development and writing aspect of manga as opposed to the actual art itself. That was when I stumbled across the amazing work of Death Note, which is a manga by Tsugumi Oba and Takashi Obata. This was the manga code duo that showed me that you could split the work of a manga between a writer and an artist. By the way, mangaka is the term used to to note a manga creator. This manga duo is also responsible for popular works like Bakuman and Platinum Ends. Definitely recommend you guys check them out if you're interested in the manga publishing process in Japan. Bakuman is definitely a fantastic read. But seeing these two succeed really made me realize that you don't have to be a good writer and a good artist in order to make a good manga. Ideally, you could be both, but if you just pick one and become really, really good at that one skill, such as writing or art, then you can partner with someone else to make up for the shortcomings. That's how most of the Western comics industry works, actually. You'll split the work between a lot of different roles, such as you know writers, pencilists, inkers, letterists, um, to come up with that eventual graphic novel that you end up reading. In Japan, a single mangaka can accomplish all of that by themselves, but it's also possible to have a team to develop that manga, and that's what I discovered at the time. Before I dove into this world of creating manga and making comics, I was actually a novelist myself. I published books that were extremely inspired by the manga and anime medium. And through my experience writing many scripts and stories and partnering with different artists to develop multiple projects, I've become quite avid at taking a project from idea generation all the way up to the eventual publication that a reader would be able to consume. And that's what I'm here to teach you all, how to take a manga from an idea all the way up to the part where you're actually developing it and you're finishing your project. Through my many years of writing and developing a process for creating manga, I'm finally ready to share with you guys my secrets on how to write manga for beginners. So I'm very excited to show you guys all the ropes and I hope you guys are really ready for this class. Thank you guys all for your support and I look forward to the next session.